Hey guys, welcome. In this video, I'm going to be showing you one of the most amazing spiritual practices that exists. You won't find this anywhere else because I learned this practice from a Zen master who literally hasn't taught this to anybody else except the people who go to see her live. And this practice has completely changed the way that I relate to my body. It has improved my posture. It's improved my flexibility. It has drastically reduced body pain that I would get when I would sit in meditation. I've, I've been, I'm able to sit in meditation very comfortably for over an hour now, whereas before I couldn't sit for longer than 20 minutes without having excruciating pain in my knees and in my back. So this practice has really helped me to just release a lot of body tension. It has helped me to walk better. And it's just made me a lot happier as a person because this body work helps you to open up the energy channels in your body that are normally blocked by tension. And once these channels are opened up, you just feel a lot more awake, a lot more aware and consciousness can actually flow through you. And this has all kinds of effects like causing you to breathe fully into your belly as opposed to shallow chest breathing, which is what we do 95% of the day. It helps you to just relax your jaw, relax your face and completely changes your mood. So I can't talk up this practice enough. This is one of the most powerful spiritual practices that exists. I teach this to my coaching clients. I do this practice for 15 minutes every single day. And I'm gonna show you how to do it now. And if you follow along with me, I promise you, you're going to see immediate results because it's that awesome. So this practice comes from a Zen master who found, well, the Zen master's name is John Gary Roshi and he lived in, in like 1920 and he died in 1998 and he would run retreats and he was actually a monk and he found that a lot of the monks in his monastery were struggling a lot with not knowing how to sit properly and whenever they would sit in meditation they would experience excruciating pain in their knees in their back and they just didn't have the right posture. And if you're a student of meditation, you know that your posture really affects the quality of your consciousness. If you're able to sit with a straight spine, then you are going to be in alignment with the universe. And it feels like your energy just flows a lot better. You become a lot more calm a lot more awake. You don't nod off and get lost in thoughts and fall asleep as much. But the problem is that you can't sit properly if you have excruciating pain in your hips, if your hips are tight, your knees are in pain. In the West, we are not accustomed to sitting cross-legged on the floor. Ever since we go to grade school, we we're sitting in chairs at desks. So many of us in the West have extremely tight hip flexors like me, and this makes meditation very difficult. So this man, John Gary Roshi, he invented some of these very simple body practices that I'm going to be showing you now that helped all of the monks in his monastery to realign their body to relax their body and to sit for long periods in meditation without excruciating pain and these practices will help you even without even when you're outside of your meditation practice these practices will help you just be in your body in a more conscious way and that's going to help you just enjoy your life and be a much happier person all right, so I was taught this practice from one of John Gary Roshi's students. Her name is Malasika, and she works at the Dharma Center of Canada. 
So if you wanted to learn these practices from the source, you can book a retreat at the Dharma Center of Canada and go. Uh, I highly recommend it. It's really awesome. All you need to do body work is a towel. This is just a regular bath towel. Nothing special about it. It's, it's a little bit thin, uh, which I like better. If it's a really thick towel, there might be too much padding. So all you need is a towel and a space to lie down on the floor. All right. I'm going to be teaching you three exercises today. The first exercise is called laying on the towel. The second exercise is called arm drops. And the third exercise is called leg drops. And I'm just going to be giving you a basic introduction. I recommend following along with me because it's you when you hear me walking through the, walking you through the exercise live, it's going to really benefit you, especially the first time you do it. So when you do do this exercise, follow along with me. I'm going to be guiding you through it right now. All right. So the first exercise is called laying on the towel. And what you want to do is you want to grab your towel. Could be a hand towel, could be a bath towel. And you just want to lie it flat on the floor. And you want to, to find a length of the towel that is the length of your forearm. So from your wrist to your elbow, you basically just want to measure out on the towel your forearm. So mine is about right here. All right, so you're going to basically fold the towel in half or just fold it so that you have a length that is approximately the length from your wrist to your elbow. So for me, luckily, this towel is right when I fold it in half. That's the perfect length. So you're going to fold the towel in half. I'm folding it long ways. Show you how to do this. Use my origami skills and all right. So we, we're going to fold the towel in half like this, making sure that it's flat. There's not too many wrinkles in it because we're going to be lying on top of it and the wrinkles are going to make you uncomfortable. And once you fold the towel like this, you're going to grab one end of the towel and roll it. So you want to roll it pretty tight, kind of like you're rolling a joint. <laughs> you want to roll up the, the towel so that the diameter of the towel is about as big as your wrist. So for me, I like it a little bit thicker than my wrist. So see what I've done. I've kind of rolled up the towel so that it's about the same thickness of my wrist. And then the rest of the length, you can just leave it. All, all we need is just a rolled up towel that's about the size of your forearm. All right. Very simple. And once you have this, you can do body work, which is the best thing ever. So right now I'm going to show you how to lay on the towel. First thing you need to do is just lie down on your back. Yeah, just lie down on your back. And you want to feel the floor on your back. So just taking a second, lying down on your back. Just lying on the floor is actually very good for your body. It helps you to align yourself and be supported by the ground. So now that you're lying on your back, you want to just take a few deep breaths and we're going to be entering meditation now. So we just want to be aware of how our body feels. Specifically pay attention to the way your body is contacting the floor. So you might find that some parts of your body are pulling away from the floor. Whereas other parts of your body might be 
accepting the support from the floor. But you just want to be conscious of if any parts of your body are pulling away, which parts of your body are contacting the floor. So for me right now, my lower back is kind of like raised up. So you just want to be aware of how your body feels on the floor. Just take a few breaths into your stomach. Generally, you just want to relax your jaw and allow your belly to rise and fall as you breathe. All right, so once you're comfortable on the floor, you only need to do this for about a minute. You can grab your towel, which is already rolled up, and you're going to put it underneath your back. I'll show you where. So you want to put the towel a uh, long ways on your back like this so that the top of the towel is on the, your vertebrae here. There's like a vertebrae here that sticks out right at the top of your neck. So right here, that's where you want the top of the towel to be. And then uh, you just put it vertically like this. So I'm going to lie the towel flat on the floor. If there's a flap coming out of it, you just want to make sure that it's also flat. And then I'm just going to lie down on the towel. And I'm just going to position it so that the top of the towel is at that top vertebrae there. And then it's just going directly down my spine. Ah. All right. So now that you're lying on the towel, we're just going to relax our jaw, allowing your belly to fill with air and release just naturally. You don't have to control your breathing, but you want it to be deep and full. Feeling the contact points that are touching the floor. And you just really want to feel that the floor is supporting you. Feel that you don't need to hold yourself. You're not going to fall through the floor. <laughs> just kind of let go into the floor. Trust that the floor is supporting you. It's not going anywhere. The floor has your back. And what I like to do is as I'm breathing naturally, I just kind of allow my body to melt into the floor as I let go. You wanted to keep your jaw relaxed. Relax your fingers, your toes, your ankles. I like to keep my eyes open so that I don't fall asleep. And I'm not really looking at anything. I'm just kind of keeping my eyes unfocused. Normally, we lie on the towel 
for 10 to 15 minutes no longer than 15 minutes otherwise you'll hurt yourself so you don't want to fall asleep on the towel don't lie on it for any longer than 15 minutes so what, what I recommend doing is just pause the video and just lie on the towel like this for about 10 to 15 minutes and when you're done this is what you're going to do you can pause the video now if you want if you're watching it on your phone just pause the video and lie on the towel and what you're going to do now now that you're done so it's been 10 minutes been 15 minutes welcome back all you're going to do is very mindfully very slowly there's no rush you're just going to very gently remove the towel from underneath your back. And lie down on the floor. Noticing how your body feels now lying on your back without the towel. Noticing if there's any changes in your breathing, changes in your facial expression. Notice if there's any parts that were pulling away from the floor before that are now accepting the floor. For me, the first time I did this exercise, I felt like my, my back was just completely open and hugging the floor and it was the, most, the coolest experience ever. Just notice any effects in your mood, your emotions, any effects in your state of consciousness. You might just feel really aligned and really clear and awake. That's good. Allowing your breath to be full and natural. The belly will rise and fall on its own. Now, whenever you're ready, we are going to transition into sitting and then into standing and eventually walking around. And I'm going to show you how to transition. So without rushing, without being overly excited to get to the next position, we're going to very slowly and very mindfully feel which side we want to roll on. So sometimes you might want to roll on your left side. Sometimes you might want to roll on your right side. Right now I feel like I want to roll on my right side. So I'm just going to very gently on the out breath. So when I exhale, I'm going to move my arm. And I'm just going to basically just figure out how to roll onto my side in a very slow and mindful way. All right, my body feels super relaxed right now. It just feels so relaxed, so good. And whenever I'm ready, I'm going to move to a sitting position and you want to try and sit up without using your arms to push you. So on the out breath, without being in a rush, you just want to figure out how to sit up. All right, sitting up. And now without using your arms again, you're going to figure out how to stand up you really want to let your body teach you so I'm standing up now 
and you just want to feel for any changes in your body. So I'm going to sit back down, but I want you to stand up. Take a few steps, walk around, and I just want you to feel how it feels to walk. So notice if there's any changes in the way that you walk. You might feel that your hips sway more. You might feel your ankles feel more loose. You might find that your shoulders are more relaxed. You might find that your posture is more straight. Just notice the changes in your breathing, in your facial expression, in your state of mind, and also in your posture. And just walk around your room really feel the changes. This is the key of, of the whole practice. We really want our awareness to gain traction and to actually feel the difference. This practice isn't about like how long you can lie on the towel. It's about we're using the towel as a vehicle for our awareness to really observe the changes that are made as the towel kind of opens up your energy channels it opens up your consciousness you want to really be aware of the changes that are made in your body all right sometimes you can walk up and down stairs you can i recommend walking barefoot you don't want to be wearing shoes when you're doing this feel the way your feet contact the floor it might be different and you just want to notice the changes all right so whenever you're ready you can sit back down and now we're going to do arm drops I'm going to show you how to do the next exercise all right before we move on to arm drops I want to show you one extra way that you can lie on the towel so the way i just showed you is that the towel is on your upper back like this you can also lie with the towel on your lower back where the the towel basically goes like this okay so the top of the towel begins at the the top of your waist so if you're wearing pants normally where your pants would sit right at the top of your waist that's where you put the top of the towel and then the rest of the towel is vertical and goes underneath your butt cheeks like this so that the second way you can lie on the towel is like this On your lower back okay I recommend alternating so maybe in the morning you can do 15 minutes of lying with the towel on your upper back and then at night you can do 15 minutes of lying with the towel on your lower back okay and just feel the difference this one is going to help open up your hips big time and um, don't do these practices for longer than 15 minutes also, don't do them too frequently. So twice a day is perfect. You want to give yourself one hour in between lying on the towel. So you don't want to lie on the towel every 30 minutes or whatever. You want to give yourself at least an hour in between sessions. And yeah, that's it for lying on the towel. This one is probably the most powerful of all of them extremely extremely good stuff if you just lie on the towel every day for 15 minutes it will completely realign your body your posture your consciousness everything will really be put into alignment for you and you'll realize what that means when you actually do the practice okay so the next practice i'm going to be showing you is called arm drops 
and this one's going to help you to let go of tension that's in your arms, your hands, your shoulders, and it's also going to teach you just how to use your arms properly. It might sound kind of crazy. You might say, Adam, what do you mean how to use my arms properly? I already know how to use my arms. Well, the thing is, is that when we're young, we absorb conditioning from our parents and from our society that kind of imprints us with this sort of attitude. The, the way we approach life is in a very rushed way where we're always trying to get to the next moment. We're always in a rush. So the way we use our arms is <laughs> very inefficient. You can say we use too much muscles to like, like we, we actually are just constantly tensed up. We hold so much tension in our body and it just wastes a lot of your energy doesn't allow your energy to flow properly and just causes you stress and unnecessary pain. So these arm drops are going to teach you how to use your arms in a relaxed, graceful way so that you can just be a healthy human. All right, so we're lying on our back again. Same thing. You're going to take a minute to just be aware that you're lying on your back, feeling the belly rise and fall naturally. Relaxing the jaw. And this is how we do arm drops. I'm going to show you and then I'll explain. Alright, so these are the instructions. At the beginning of your next out breath, you're going to place your attention on the underside of your arm. So the underside of your arm that's touching the floor. So at the, be when, at the beginning of your exhale, you basically allow your arms to lift while you're paying attention to the underside of your arm. So what we don't want to do is we don't want to like lift our arms like this. <laughs> there I was paying attention to the, the, the top side of my arm. That's the side, it's kind of like the egotistical side where we are kind of in a rush to, to get to the next moment. That's what we normally do. Instead we're gonna place our attention on the underside of our arm, which is the side that is a little bit softer, a little bit slower. And as we exhale, we just lift our arms to a 90 degree angle like this. And when you first do this, I recommend just kind of turning your head and looking at your arms to make sure that they're at a 90 degree angle. And you'll know that they're at a 90 degree angle because you'll actually feel a kind of energetic shift. It's very subtle. You'll feel it in just, you'll, you'll, you'll know <laughs> when your arms are at a 90 degree angle, it'll feel like they're kind of resting without any effort at all. Like right now, my arms are just kind of just standing here. I don't need to put any effort to hold them up. They're kind of just like, holding themselves up because they're at this perfect 90 degree. It's very healthy to hold your arms at this 90 degree. When, when you're a beginner, uh, you can just spend some time here at this position. It kind of just balances everything, just aligns everything in your body. And then at the beginning of your next out breath, you're going to place your attention on the underside of your arm and you're going to allow them to drop. And 
you can do it again. So at the beginning of your next out breath, pay attention to the underside of your arm. And lift them up to a 90 degree. You want to feel that your arms are heavy. You want to actually feel the weight of your arms. At the beginning of your next out breath, drop them. Okay, so you can do these arm drops while you're laying on the towel. I'm going to get up. So you can actually do those arm drops while you're laying on the towel. Um, you can do the same thing that, that we did as before, where you get up slowly, you sit up, and then you, you can do these arm drops. Maybe you can do 20 of them. It doesn't matter how many of them you do. I just recommend doing them for 10 minutes. You can do the arm drops. And after you're done, you can get up slowly as I showed you in the beginning. And then you can just walk around and feel how it affects your body. You might find that doing arm drops has an effect on your feet. It might have an effect on your ankles or your knees or your hips. So the reason why it's like this is because we're training our awareness to learn how to let go. And this will completely shift your consciousness. It will help your body to let go of tension and it, it'll, it'll change your body. And the key is to have awareness of what are the changes. If you do a lot of arm drops, you might find that just something simple as going to open a door is a different movement. Normally when we go to open a door, we're very forceful and rigid. <laughs> but when we do a lot of these arm drops, when you go to open a door, you might find your, your, your arm will just lift from the underside. It will be very relaxed and graceful. And then when you go to open the door, you open it with the minimum amount of effort where you're in alignment with the towel. <laughs> and you just open the door in a very graceful way. And then you walk through the door relaxed in a very graceful way where we're not rigid and tense and in a rush, but we are paying attention to the underside of our arms and of our feet even. Speaking of which, that moves us to our next exercise, which is called leg drops. So leg drops are going to help you relax the lower half of your body. And I'll show you how to do them right now. So we're lying on our back, becoming aware of the contact points that are touching the floor. Just allowing the floor to support us. Not in a rush to get to the next moment, but just taking a minute just to lie on the floor. Whenever you're ready, you want to do the leg drops. I'll show you how they look and then I'll explain them. So at the beginning of your next out breath, you will place your attention on the soles of your feet. So that the underside of your feet and you're just going to lift your legs like this, 
just kind of gently drag them along the floor as you're paying attention to the bottom of your feet and as you're just breathing out. So this is all happening in one exhale. And you bring your knees up to a 90 degree angle here. So if this is kind of uncomfortable for you, you can use your arms to, to, to hold your, your legs up right here at a 90 degree angle. But you don't need to use your arms, but you want your feet to be completely relaxed. Your knees are at a 90 degree pointing up to the ceiling. And at the beginning of the next exhale, you pay attention to the bottom of your feet and you just drop your legs. So it'll look like this. So you just let go, basically. Now, when you first do this exercise, it might be a little bit scary for you to let go. Um, sometimes when I let go, it, there's sometimes some pain in my hips. So if you ever feel pain in your hips, like a sharp pain, just stop. <laughs> just, just you're done for now. Do try again in six hours or, or try again later, basically. Um, that's if you feel some very sharp pain. It, there might be a little bit of fear to just let go of your legs. Like you might, feel like it's hard to let go, like you're, 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 you're holding on to them. Uh, that's why this practice, we're literally training the letting go muscle. That's what we're doing. So one more time. On the exhale. Once you get to the 90 degree, to degree you'll do an inhale. You can stay here for a few inhales if you want. And the beginning of your next exhale, you drop them while paying attention to the underside of your feet. All right, again, when we get up, we feel for which side we want to roll on. We slowly roll to the side. I'm rushing a little bit because I'm filming this video. We want to just move slowly without needing to use our arms to pick ourselves up. As we're standing up, paying attention to the underside of our legs, the underside of our arms, and just allowing ourselves to stand up without needing to use our arms. All right, and again, just walk around the room that you're in. Take a few minutes, walk around, feel the changes with your awareness, and that is how you do the leg drops. So, I've just taught you three basic body work exercises. Lying on the towel at the top of your back and also at the bottom of your back. I taught you how to do arm drops, which you can do while you're lying on the towel. And I also taught you how to do leg drops. Now you can do leg drops while the towel is at the top of your back, but not when the towel is at the bottom of your back. If, if the towel's at the bottom of your back uh, and, and you do leg drops, you might hurt yourself. So only if the towel's at the top, you can do leg drops. But me personally, I don't usually do leg drops while I'm lying on the towel. I'll actually do a few of them after I take the towel out from underneath my back. So how do we implement body work into our everyday life and how do we get the full benefits from it? So what I recommend is doing 15 minutes of body work every single day. I personally like doing body work right after I do sitting meditation. So I'll sit for 30 minutes or 45 minutes or however long I sit for that day. After I'm done, 
I will just lie down on the floor, grab my towel, which is already rolled up for me. I'll put the towel underneath my back, whether it's the top or the bottom, and I'll lie down on the towel and begin the exercise. So I'll relax, uh, pay attention to the bottom of my back, do that for 15 minutes, and then once I'm done, I'll gently take the towel out from under my back, and I'll slowly, mindfully get up, and walk around and feel the changes. I like to just go right outside, just go walk outside. And it's summer now in Canada, so it's very easy for me to just step outside, go walk on the grass and stuff. Um, climbing up stairs is, is good to do, um, just cause it's good to just feel the way the body work changes your body. All right. I. I'm probably going to make a part two to this video because I only showed you three practices. There are lots and lots and lots of body work practices. I only showed you the first variation of all of these practices. Um, there are deeper variations that are a little bit more advanced that perhaps I'll make another video about in the future if you're interested in seeing that. Uh, leave a comment for me. Say, hey, I really like these bodywork practices. They worked for me. Um, make another one and then show me the, the deeper variations. There's, there's deeper variations to the arm drops and the leg drops and, and there's even other exercises. These are the main exercises though. So just if you do arm drops, leg drops, and lying on the towel, you will experience a profound shift in your body and in your state of consciousness as well. This is a very important practice because we are including the body into our consciousness work. Uh, whenever we're trying to raise our consciousness, be more aware of ourselves just so that we can live a happy life. Uh, it, it, in the beginning, what I used to do is I used to only meditate and I wouldn't do anything with my body. I just sit down and meditate. And that didn't really work because I had serious pain in my body and I would just get lost in thoughts for, you know, a million years. I just get lost in thoughts and I couldn't focus. But once I started doing body work two years ago, it really helped to take my meditation to the next level. It helped open up my breathing. And um, it even helps you in like psychedelic trips and stuff, just helps to release body tension, helps you to relax and surrender. Remember body work, we're really training the letting go muscle and we're also training our awareness to not rush <laughs> and just to be aware of the present moment, to move slowly, to pay attention to the underside of our body and you'll find this does have a, a massive effect in your everyday life. Simple things, just like opening a door, washing the dishes, you'll find you're doing them more consciously, more lightly, without being forceful, without being in a rush, uh, without being an ego state of mind, but being very relaxed, allowing yourself to receive life as opposed to going out to, to get life we're receiving life, which is a completely different orientation to living. So what I recommend you do now is you check out my free meditation training where I actually show you how to do Vipassana meditation. That meditation training synergizes extremely well with what we talked about here today. I have been teaching this in my embodied consciousness program where I'm showing people how to meditate and how to synergize it together with the body work. So I'm giving it away now for free. So take advantage of this. Check out the Vipassana training. You can click the link in the description. Uh, it'll be the first link. It, it'll show you um, how to do Vipassana meditation, which will just show you how to be aware of your breath and how to be mindful, how to meditate properly, how to sit, everything you need to know is in that video. 
And then after you do the Vipassana, you can do some body work afterwards. So if every single day you do 20 minutes of the Vipassana and then 15 minutes of body work, I guarantee you, you will feel an immediate shift in, in, the le in your consciousness. And this is very important because a lot of people end up quitting their meditation practice and getting discouraged because they don't see immediate results. And I fully understand it. What's great about going to the gym, for example, is that when you go to the gym, you see immediate results. You, you get a pump, right? And you're, you feel like your muscles are bigger and you're like, okay, this is working, right? After a week, you'll already start to see some muscle growth. So that's why going to the gym, a lot of people stick to it. But with meditation, it's more of a nebulous kind of abstract. You can't really tell whether it's working or not. That's why this body work is amazing because it works immediately after you do it. You're going to feel how it actually feels to raise your consciousness. And this is going to help you to install the habit because there, once you do the habit, you meditate, you do body work, afterwards you're going to feel calm, you're going to feel relaxed, and this is like immediate feedback. That's what makes habits addicting. When you go to smoke a cigarette, you immediately feel high afterwards. So what's great about this body work is after you lie on the towel for 15 minutes, you're going to have a kind of buzz. You're gonna feel kind of high. So, um, but it's it's a more natural kind of smooth kind of healthy conscious kind of high as opposed to like an artificial like nicotine high so this is very healthy i recommend doing this practice every single day let me know if you enjoyed and you wanted to me to make a sequel to this video where we go deeper into the variations check out the free vipassana training it'll synergize very well with the body work it'll help you to raise your awareness so that the body work becomes even more effective. And as a final note, uh, if you do plan on doing a meditation retreat for yourself, um, I do recommend including body work into your meditation regimen. What I do on retreat is I will set a, a period of four hours, for example, where I will do sets of meditation. So what I'll almost always do is sitting followed by body work followed by walking and then that will loop around where I'll go sitting body work walking sitting body work walking sitting body work walking and I'll do that over and over again for that four hour period and then once the period's done I'll, I'll ring the bell and then um, I'll go eat or use the bathroom or whatever and then I'll start another session so if you want to do like a mini retreats thing at your house, right? You can just do it for a weekend or whatever. I recommend doing like 30 minutes of sitting, 15 minutes of body work, and then 30 minutes of walking meditation, which um, I haven't taught yet on this channel, but uh, perhaps I'll make a video for how to do walking meditation soon. Um, but all you, all you can do is just kind of like walk back and forth and just feel the changes from the body work. That can be its own walking meditation. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed. This was an introduction to body work. Let me know how the practices work and I'll see you in the next video.